Watch more Operation Ouch on BBC Brains. BBC iPlayer. iPlayer. Nothing you see here could ever really happen. Won't really happen. Has never happened. Yet. Day 23 in the Operation Ouch Zombie Apocalypse Survival Shelter. Now pay close attention because this is some of the most important information you're ever going to receive. Exactly, and we are coming to you from here! The heart of our absolutely top secret zombie proof bunker! Now we are going to be telling you how to survive the zombie apocalypse in style and comfort. Yes, and also backed up with lots of science. The science of zombology. Zombiology. Zombiology. My zombology. No. Top tips for survival. Keep quiet. Now the human ear is incredibly sensitive. Down your ear canal, you've got the tympanic membrane, your eardrum, then the ossicles, tiny little bones, and then the cochlea. And this arrangement can detect the tiniest noise, the slightest rustling of a leaf. And we know zombies have even more heightened senses, so it's important to be as quiet as possible. Exactly! Shh. Exactly! You've got to move like you're on a stealth mission, because you don't want the zombies to hear you. So, if you need to fart... No then what... farting in the shelter! Shh! Armour up. Now take a look at this, Chris. Not only is my armour lightweight, stylish and strong, it's also upcycled from an old cardboard box. And the best bit is, if it gets covered in zombie gunge, I just put it in the recycling. Yes, son. But what you're forgetting is that the average human bite strength is around 160 pounds per square inch, and zombies are at least 100 times stronger than that. So I think you're going to need a little bit more than upcycled cardboard. No, Chris, because as any good zombologist knows, zombies hate the taste of cardboard. Anyway, you're wearing towels. Yes, but I also have these. Zombie clangers! Don't leave home without them! Is they northern stick or stainless? Stainless. Stay fit. Zombie fitness! Fitness is essential if you find yourself having to escape from a relentless zombie. That's why we recommend a daily dose of running, jumping, or dancing. And a five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa! Sleep well. Now, Chris, my plan is to sleep through the entire zombie apocalypse. Well, it's an interesting approach, Son, but it isn't practical. Because, you see, how would you fulfil your shifts on the shelter cleaning rotor? But sleep is very important. Poor sleep can lead to poor decision-making and it can weaken your immune system. So you can't fight off colds or infections from zombies. So you need at least seven to nine hours even during the apocalypse. All right, Chris, I'll take the first shift in bed. I'd better get cleaning. We'll be back soon with more zombie operation out. Chris, it's getting awfully stuffy in here. I think I'll pop outside for a moment. Sod, have you forgotten the zombies? What's the worst that could happen? Quite a bad thing, really. Look, I think you should at least take some of your makeshift armour. A few hours later. It's day 23 in the Operation Ouch Zombie Proof Shelter. And if you've noticed that I'm a twin down, well, you're absolutely right. Zahn popped out for a bit of fresh air, but he got much more than that. And he has come back a little bit changed. Human brain. So now we're going to discuss some tips in caring for a domestic zombie. First up, dietary adjustments. Hungry. Now, as you can see, zombie Zand here wants to eat human brains. Well, I've served him something that I like to call wobble brains, which is brain flavored jelly. It's hygienic and humane. 
<laughs> now look, minty fresh breath is going to be a bit of a stretch here, but introducing your zombie to the basics of dental hygiene, yeah. brushing, flossing, mouthwash is going to make them a lot less terrifying when they're trying to say hello or bite you. Arr. Okay, open up. No, open, no, open, no, don't, 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 no, just let me brush. It's important to keep your zombie entertained so they don't get bored. And that's because bored zombies like to snack. You do not want that snack to be you. So why not introduce them to a few episodes of Operation Ouch? This is a good program for a zombie. Well, that is a wrap for day 23 in the Zombie Proof Bunker. Thanks for joining us. Remember, look after yourself on that brilliant body of yours and keep your brains where they're supposed to be. On my plate. In your skull. Happy Halloween, everyone. Brains, yum. Arr. Watch more Operation Ouch on BBC Brains. BBC iPlayer. iPlayer. <laughs>